What we're doing here today is opening our doors so that young people can realize that there's more than one way that you can be involved as an artist. The event for today is Art as a Catalyst for Change, teaching artists going to schools to work with our young people, and then we bring all of that artwork back to Brick House to exhibit it. The theme of today is anti-gun, anti-violence. Violence is a symptom of a disease in our community. Violence spreads due to lack of resources, to lack of a niche that a young person can find as an alternative to a gang or different things that may not be as productive. You know. We've seen students transition from wanting to be outside and hang out in the streets and come into our doors and really and truly be empowered through the arts. The Brownsville community is one of the most under-resourced communities in Brooklyn, and it's also one of the communities that has the most crime. What is your neighborhood like? My neighborhood? Brownsville, yeah. It's like a lot of violence, I guess. But yeah. I don't really go outside, so... You don't go outside? I just... I'm gonna stay at home here. When you're going outside, you, you can never know what can happen. You have to be watching your back, watching your every step. In our organization, we're providing our services to over 60 youth. They are being empowered through music, through education, through mentorship, leadership, and dance. And so we are honored to be able to come here today to showcase what our students are learning at Victory Music and Dance Company Incorporated. Finding an opportunity for young people is what Brick is all about, to keep them engaged, to keep them productive, to keep them connected to the things that they love is part of our service, and we're pretty proud of that. We're also really proud of partnering with the city and state. This work is not possible without the fiscal support of our council people, so that young people have a home. They have a home for creating.